Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and I do fountain pen reviews. And today I have the Kaigaloo 356. Look at that pen. It is a beautiful blue resin pen with a replacement nib. Let me just show this to you right quick. So this is Kaigaloo's calligraphy nib. You know, that's been very popular among fountain pen enthusiasts here lately. And of course, they are part of the scene as well. And so we're going to look at whether or not I like this nib and what I do and don't like about it. And of course, we'll look at the rest of the pen and what is great and not so great about it. Let's flip that camera and dive right in. All right, let's take a close look at this 356 from Kaigaloo. Just a great looking pen. You will notice that the resin is very similar to the older model of the 316, uh, probably the same resin, although this is a much heavier pen. This is not all that heavy. It's closer in weight to the new 316S that you see there in the background, but just a beautiful blue resin and the gold trim, it all sets together very nicely. So let's look over the features of the pen. So you have the this gold colored trim here and at the band and of course up at the cap as well and the clip. That clip is a good strong clip without being overly stiff. Uh, they are just turned finials at the bottom of the barrel and the top of the cap. And then of course, as I mentioned, that band. Let's take a look at that close up. It says Kaigaloo. And then just very simple uh, adornment there. Nothing uh, overly done or overwrought, just nice and simple. And let's go ahead and count those turns. We have one, oh, just like one and a quarter, one and a quarter turns. Some of you are really gonna like that. It does make a difference uh, when you're using the pen quite a bit. So you take that off and you get to something that I always like, and that is when the grip section is the same resin as the body. So I just, I just think that looks nice. I don't mind the black on the uh, 316, but I do always uh, give bonus points, so to speak, when uh, that grip section is the same. Now, normally you would have the kangaroo logo here on the nib that is typical of Kaigaloo, such as you see on this 316. This would be the same nib that would come standard on the 356. However, after watching a video by Douglas Rathbun on the new 356 and on the nibs that came out there, I... Mm, I spent money just like you do, right? <laughs> so I thought, I got to try this out. I'm, I'm curious. You have a couple of different choices. I'll put a picture up here of what kind of design is on the nib. I chose this flaming uh, sword blade sort of a design. I like that. And I especially like it in the two-tone. And I think that looks nice with this pen. If you can get both of these on Etsy, I'll put a link in the description. That's where I got mine. And when you remove the barrel, you'll notice the gold tone metal feed and converter collar here for the grip section. And then, of course, you'll notice that it does come with a Kaigaloo branded converter. I find these to be reliable enough. It will also take cartridges. I'll put that size up there for you but very, very simple, classic fountain pen design. Not breaking any new ground there, but certainly well-made and a beautiful blue resin. Everything about the way the pen is put together, I think, is quite good for the money that you're paying for this pen. I've been very well pleased with Kaigaloo's pens so far, but let's see how that special nib is going to write. Okay, so the pen does post securely. And well, no issues there whatsoever. This is the Kaigaloo. Three, five, six. And this is, I'm just going to put a C for the calligraphy nib. Now this is, is mainly used for Chinese characters. So uh, when you're writing with it in English, it maybe doesn't draw out quite as much character as it would if you're using it for Asian lettering. That's kind of what it's made for. But I think it brings out some interesting line variation anyway. The ink I have in this pen today is a pen BBS ink. I will uh, 
put a review up of this ink soon. And when I do, I'll add a link in this review so that you can find it. And I'll put it in the description. And this is number 223, which is called the Chongqing City Ink. It's an, a blue ink with some really nice uh, dark, kind of some muted shading. And uh, you'll see that more when I do a sample later. But let me just go ahead and do a wetness sample for you so you can kind of see the color of that ink. I really, really like this. Again, with this nib, you're going to get some line variation. because it's thinner as you come on the downstroke and then wider on the horizontal. And so that gives you that natural line variation. Uh, this one, you may hear it a little bit. Let me try that again and be quiet. On the downstrokes, very smooth. On the side strokes, so the horizontal, you'll notice that you hear it more. That's more audible. There is some feedback, I would say pencil-like feedback, a somewhat sharp pencil feeling. Not bad, not scratchy, uh, but not buttery smooth on the uh, side to side. Give you a little bit more as far as angles to help you kind of see what's going on there. And then let's just do some writing, which I'm going to stick to English. Maybe. If you can call it that. They're just letters. It can be any Western language you want to imagine it to be, I guess. So, I like it, and and this is just you know my normal everyday handwriting. I'm not trying to do anything there. Uh, so, it gives you some neat variations, some some width, and also if you'll notice some wetness variation so that it brings out the shading in that ink. And let me show you that a little bit more closely. You can kind of see that there is variation in the shading of that ink because of the nib. Some of this is the ink, some of it is the nib. And that's why people like to use in Western writing some of these kind of Asian specific nibs. It just gives you more options, and that's kind of the fun of fountain pen nibs. All right, so there is the Kaigaloo. 356. Here it is compared to its stable mate, the 316S. Something similar to that, the Jinhao 100, which is kind of that Duragraph styled pen in Galaxy Blue. Uh, let's see, here is a recent pen to the fountain pen world that is really taken off and has been a big hit, the 10Z. That is just such a good looking pen and then something more similar the pen bbs 308 also in galaxy blue similar in style although certainly not identical by any means also similar there is the platinum 3776 as well a little bit smaller pen harder to balance on there you notice that so uh you know that gives you some size comparisons maybe something that's not that's not blue is the uh, Diplomat Arrow or the Lamy 2000. As you can see, uh, similar to most of those pens in size and to some of them in uh, in resin and color and style. And here we are with those pens posted, which always changes the equation just a little bit. And the pens unposted. So let's look at both these things. Let's do the nib first since we've just looked at the writing sample. Do I like this calligraphy nib? Yes. Uh, if you are into swapping out nibs and you've got a pen with, that would take a number six, this fits any of those pens, uh, should fit any of those pens, I should say, that are going to take a number six nib. So if you've got another Kaigaloo or if you've got a, uh, a Jinhao that takes a number six, a lot of you have Jinhao X750s and 450s and all that good stuff, this nib will work in those pens. In fact, Mm, I don't have it here with me. It's a shame. I put one. I put the other one that came in this pair in an X750 and it, I just, I, I love it in that pen. If you've got an X750, it does work 
It does work with that feed, the standard feed, and writes wonderfully. Perhaps I'll do a quick, uh, maybe a YouTube short on that just to show you how that works in that pen as well. So the nib, really do like it. The pen, uh, is there anything to say? It's well made, it's a great price, and it is a stunning blue resin. And for me, those are all the boxes I need to click send me one of those. And so just a, a great pen. They do have other colors, but the blue is the one that appealed to me. And I hope that they will come out with other variations as they often do. Maybe if we get lucky, they'll even come out with that sky blue resin that just is fantastic as well. Okay, God bless you. I'll see you in the next review. Thank you for hitting like, subscribe, and sharing these videos with a friend that you think might like one of these pins.